Hello everyone, welcome to the final installations of the Putting Dr. G on the spot, specially uh, dedicated to testicular problems. We're going to talk about fluid in the sac. There are two reasons why the testicles will have this benign condition which will fill with fluid. One of them is actually fluid surrounding the testicle itself. The other one is the fluid that accumulates in the epididymis. This is the actual testicle itself. And you can see that testicle itself actually is connected to epididymis and that will link to a vas and eventually link to the actual prostate before ejaculation. And in that testicle, it has two structure. Number one, the testicle itself is surrounded by fluid so that it can move a little. And that layer is called tunica vaginalis. Sometimes the tunica vaginalis actually have congenital hydrocele, meaning that a sac of fluid accumulates in there. For example, a baby who has got hernia will have this fluid drain into the tunica vaginalis. But in adults, the hydrocele can occur in both primary hydrocele and secondary hydrocele. In primary hydrocele, it is a fluid that doesn't get reabsorbed and it eventually get accumulated around it and make it look like a big testicle but it's all filled with fluid and within it, a testicle. The secondary hydrocele happens when there is a pathology with the testicle. For example, an infection that causes abscess or cancer that causes fluid accumulation. Either way, the hydrocele itself is harmless. So many of us live with hydrocele without any concerns. However, if the hydrocele is too big, it's a bit saggy and you need to have an operation. The other side of the a coin, we're dealing with something called epididymal cyst. As I mentioned before, the epididymis actually is the structure which is on the side of the testicle, accumulating the sperm from maturations. And in adults mainly, the epididymal cyst will occur and nobody knows why. Sometimes it might be because of accumulations of semen or sometimes it might be uh, just fluid that actually appears out of nowhere. And these look like pearl shape and if you actually do an ultrasound scan, it looks like a bunch of grapes if there are quite a few of them. And most people are not really aware of the actual cyst itself until they do self-examination. However, the cyst itself just needs to be confirmed by a doctor to make sure it's not cancer. So, for the month of November, it's Movember November, we're going to talk a lot about men's cancer. And the most common cancer that people are always going to talk about will be prostate cancer. We're going to kickstart the whole month of November with prostate cancer awareness and how you can put Dr. G on the spot for more details about prostate cancer.